Hey, hey, people, Theo here, and I'm back with more Subnautica. In the last episode, well, I came to a landmass, explored stuff, got some stuff, and, well, got some pretty cool stuff. But, uh, let's on continue. I'm going back, I'm gonna try to plant these things. And back to the base, plant those things, and you know, go to the sunbeam around site. Chief's log, five weeks since the crash. Welcome the only the other survivors are my son, Mott, and Mida, the cut price mercenary I commissioned, commissioned for the journey. After days drifting in the life pod, rain hammering on the roof, the weather cleared and we washed up here. I had Mida salvage the Degazi wreck. Set Bart to finding us a stable source of food. His education is paying off sooner than I'd anticipated. Our only problem is Mida. She says the weather's going to turn. I say she's finding excuses to risk our lives. I imagine she's not going to weaken her life without a physical altercation, and she's itching for a fight. In every judgment she makes, things go from bad to worse. If she had my experience, she'd have more faith. Humans have spent millennia specializing in how to shackle nature to our will. This planet won't cause us any new problems. My one task now is to keep us alive, as comfortably as possible, until the insurance company arranges rescue. In this part of space, that could be months, or even years. Why was it cut short? Or even years? It was just cut short, I guess. Okay, back to my base. Already have everything from the life part, if I'm not mistaken. Going back to the base, planting some stuff, making a multi-purpose room, and then going to the sunbeam landing site. Ow! I thought I would miss that. Hello, base. Seems like I'm not going to need you. But, what of it? Oh, wait. Uh, multi-purpose room. Large room. Plasteel ingot. How do you make that? Let me real quick take a look. Because I saw it. Plasteel ingot. Titanium ingot and lithium. Need four lithium. How much do I have? I only have two. So it's not worth it. Okay. Uh I priority automated message from Aurora Live Pod 13 coordinates attached. Live pod is carrying high priority passenger. Yoki Kassar. I said Kassar. Why do I have to record this anyway? Send immediate burial detail. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Uh. I need some titanium. Right, dumb. I'm a dumbass. I need some titanium, and for that, I need to see where I can get some stuff. So this is where I am. I need to go there and there. That's the quickest way right now to get titanium. So, somewhere over here. Well, this is titanium, but it's not the one that I wanted. Mm 
Ah, good enough. I think that should be enough to make a multipurpose room. Oh, you know what? No, let's just go there to the sunbeam laden sign because it's four minutes, which is not that long. So let's just go there. Kelp forest. Five hundred meters to the landing site. Ah, look at that. Another landmass. And this one's actually a, a normal landmass, not floaters. Radio signal. Great. Not going there. Not going back. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Um, I think I see where the thing energy signature is from. It's big. It's big. I so. Skyray, come back. Skyray! Scan it, scan it, scan it real quick. There we go. Uh, the Skyray has a bird like head and feathered wings. Uh, which enable it to fly. Skyrays are commonly found circling floating structures and rarely venture far out to the sea. Uh, they will perch on dry land but are prone to flee on approach. Wings! Although its wings give it some resemblance in similar to the waterborne rays on uh, 4546b, unless it shows no greater in genetic overlap with those species than the planetary average. In fact, the sky ray appears to have split off the evolutionary tree much earlier than most. 2. Diet. Largely seed-based, sky rays have not been observed diving for food, which implies they rely on land-based plants for survival. Their presence may indicate nearby dry land. Look at that plant. No, that moon. It's real quick. It moves around real quick. Also, let's check this thing. Hello. It's like light stuff. Hey, another one. Purple tablet fragment. Just titanium. Okay. Hmm. Force field control terminal. This device matches no known technology, and it's likely an alien nature. Huh? Power is being routed via... Huh? Hello, what are you doing? Um... What is happening? Survivor, we see you. I don't Man, see I don't you. know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere and we're descending towards the landing site. Um. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? There it is. There's Sunbeam. No turning back now. Are this you sure? Everyone. Touching down in 10, 9, 8. Um. I don't like this. It's coming from the building? Change course. Set thrusters to full. Hey yo.
Um. Shit. Shit. That's a crab. Uh huh. Okay, let's explore then. <sighs> That's not the good thing now, is it? I'm gonna explore this. Uh, likely alien in nature, power is being routed via the terminal to the nearby force field. This technology is far beyond anything encountered before by the Federation. Nonetheless, there is a good chance it mm, functions like a regular lock and only requires the correct kind of key. Now it's back to building a building. Well, at least I found this. Emerges power only. Habitat, what the fuck? Jafar. Jafar. Indicate this structure is composed of a metal alloy with unprecedented integrity. No match is found in database. Performing structural analysis. Uh, self scan. Self scan complete. Foreign bacteria count has reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. Um, I think I know what the symptoms are. I can't throw stuff out here. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing. Detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Um. Unequip this. No. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Alien data terminal. Uh, discovered inside an alien facility, uh, it was not possible to translate any useful information. However, scans have returned some information on the device itself. It is likely a solid state computer, although there is no clear way to interface with it. On approach, it began producing a low frequency radio wave containing complex but recognizable data patterns. Uh, it's unlikely the alien species which designed this technology evolved or gener genetically selected sensory apparatus to hear and understand the information being broadcasted by the device and to communicate back. The mental processing power required to perform this kind of telepathy would imply the designers were considerably more fazify psychologically. Oh my god, why did I blank on that word? Developed than the common human. Assessment, further research required. Well, this is not good. There are aliens here. Or maybe where? Your best probability of interfacing with this facility is achieved by accessing the control room in the lower section. Ion cube. This green mineral substance has no entry on the periodic table and an unprecedented ability to store huge amounts of ionic energy within it, likely grown artificially. Cubic appearance suggests it has been cut from a larger deposit. Each cube contains the equivalent ionic energy of 5 kilotons of TNT. That's a... that's a lot. That's, that's a lot. That's bigger than most bombs. Not nuclear, but still. Under the right conditions, the energy could be released in a controlled manner, likely used as batteries, but would require a substantial power source to be recharged. Assessment, valuable energy source. Pick this up. Huh. And it's small.
Hey, another. Unknown language. Attempting translation. Enforcement platform schematic. This data set appears to be uh, a multidimensional schematic of some kind. By mapping the pattern to three-dimensional space, it is possible to gather a basic understanding of this facility's internal workings. Construction material. The facility's unknown construction material is identified as an ultra-hard, non-reactive metal amalgam synthesized from off-world materials. There is no indication that it, that it can be damaged or destroyed by available means. Power. The schematic indicates the facility ha was to be powered by a separate, self-sustaining power plant located elsewhere on the planet. The location is not listed, but there is evidence that the designers intended to harness the planet's natural thermal energy layout. The facility consists of the upper engineering section, where the schematic was found, and the control room, which is accessed via a security sealed elevator shaft or separate underwater moon pool. Okay, control. The control room in the lower section houses on the only known way to interface with the facility. However, the schematic does not detail the operation procedure or installed security measures. Um. A moonbeam? No, tractor beam? Ayo. My question is how. D this is 93 meters down. Ayo, what? Huh? That's a big ass moon pool. Now, can I get out? Thank you. And what is down here? Also running out of food. I can decompose rotten rotten. That's not good. Hello. Oh, another ion cube. This goes here. Alien Ark. Uh, this structure, uh, structure's intended purpose is unclear. Theories on function, ceremonial or religious role, industrial applications, advanced transportation network, assessment, further research required. Huh. I obviously know what this is, but I'm not gonna tell. You'll have to wait. Also, please, uh, don't spoil stuff in the comments. That would not be cool. Ooh, hello. Another tablet? Yes. Oh, alien device. Dodecahedron, mate. I don't know what this is. What is it? Uh, what? Doomsday device? Scans indicate this device contains enough potential energy to destroy the entire planet, along with most of the solar system. Unfortunately, this malfunctioned. Fortunately, okay. Unfortunately, I was like, wait, unfortunately? What the hell? A good part of the solar system too? What the? I'm sorry, what the fuck? There's no other way to say it. Like, nothing else to say. What the fuck? Control room. Why would you go down here? I don't see anything that can be used or stuff like that.
energy core. This device houses energy equivalent to a 100 megaton nuclear detonation. Okay, to put this into perspective, that's 30 megatons more energy than the largest uh, nuclear bomb that has been used or detonated on Earth, which was the Tsar bomb, if I'm not mistaken, which is 70 megatons of energy. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, which can be channeled through the facility and directed at the vessels overhead or bent around the planet's gravitational pull to strike targets in orbit. Power is routed via the attached terminal, allowing for the devices to be deactivated if necessary. It is currently operating without param parameters, suggesting it will target any ship within range. Well, shit, that means that I can't get out of here. Boop. Hey, what you doing? Ow! The control panel is broadcasting a message. Translation reads, Warning, infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. Ah, great. So as long as I'm infected, infected, I cannot deactivate that. Translating background broadcast. Downloading summary to data bank. Alien facility locations. Alien facility locations. Intercepted background data regarding further alien facilities elsewhere on the planet. Disease research facility. Death in 800 meters. Location. Cave system with extensive fossil record. Southwest of enforcement platform. Location. No, function. Live specimen study. Of what? Subjective. Synthesis of antidote uh, for highly infectious bacteria. This designated CARA. Uh, thermal power facility. Depth 12,000. 1200. Not 12,000. 1200 meters. Location inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area. Of intense volcanic activity. Function. Generate energy for all local facilities. Sanctuary A. Data corrupted. Sanctuary B. Data corrupted. Offsite laboratory. Data corrupted. Primary containment facility. Data corrupted. In the, in the event of an outbreak, quarantine procedures will be automatically enforced with immediate effect. The quarantine enforcement platform will target all incoming and outgoing craft to prevent the spread of infection off-world. So, there were aliens on this planet that got infected by what I am infected by, and wanted to... Oh, hello! Alien rifle. A uh, strong resemblance to human weaponry in form. This device must have been designated with a humanoid user in mind. Whatever the aliens that built this structure were themselves humanoid, or otherwise employed the use of humanoids is unclear. What is clear is that they considered defending this facility a necessity, necessary precaution. There is no obvious way to remove this rifle from the case. Come on! Give! Give! Give me! <sighs> so, recap again. The aliens were here. They were probably humanoid. And they got an infected by something. They then decided to make this place to destroy any craft coming in or out of this planet so that the infection could not be spread further. And they made it so that only a uh, healthy individual can be uh, well, can 
unlock this facility and shut it down. So that means I need to... The patterns on the walls cannot ascertain whether their purpose is aesthetic or functional. Further data required. So it seems like I need to kill myself with this to be able to get out there. But then that means that the aliens died off due to the this disease. Huh. Interesting. Very interesting. Maybe it's the alien side off. So it doesn't look that good for me now, does it? You know what? I'm not going to go back to my base, at least not yet. First, I'm going to explore this place a bit, if I can. Hello, there's a cave. Hey, deposits. Diamond. Lithium. Inventory full, yes, but also not anymore. Ow, bastard. Little demon. Um. Tree leech. Blue Paul Cave Bush George Bush Coral Shell Plate Oh, hello I can go even deeper Oh, hello. Another purple tablet. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Hello. I stalk. Huh? Oh, other battery. Spotted dark leaf. Ah, yes. Let's go up then. Um. Oxygen. Yes, I'm trying. I will die, won't I? Oh, thank God I won't. Ooh, that was close. Okay, we'll explore this later on. Le oh, the low level later on. Let's look at what we have here. <laughs> the brown animation is amazing. Oh, wait, did I come out of here? Yes, I did. God damn it, I need to go there. No, here. Oh, wait, there's nothing here. Okay, back to the seam off then. Interesting place. Inventory full. Oh, it's gone.
eat, my boy. Also, uh, if you like kind of a... Instead of full playthroughs, you like a shortened version, I would recommend watching, and you like this game, Spanatica, I would recommend watching the Neebs Gaming uh, uh, channel. They made a amazing Subnautica uh, playthrough, or what they want to call it. I watched it, I watched the super cut of it, and it was amazing. Simply amazing. Uh, like, so yeah, I recommend that if you like this game, just go and watch it. They make survival based games, so for example Raft, or Subnautica, or I think they also are doing right now Ark, but I'm not sure, because I haven't watched them in a while. So yeah, if you like those types of videos, go check it, check it out. I think it's worth it. They did it in a different kind of way, they did it in a way like, there's like, one, the guy that's playing this is the guy that's stranded here, and they have another guy who's a friend, basically, who makes the videos with them. They make the videos together, and it's basically like they're communicating via radio, and that guy is somewhere off planet, just like a paper pusher. It's a pretty good series. Oh, it's already 30 minutes. Uh, so yeah, without much further ado, goodbye. Hope to see you in the next one. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. Um, if you liked the video, leave a like. And... Hope you have a great rest of your day. Ciao!